Hello and welcome to the RCB podcast powered by Kotak Mahindra Bank. So there is no specific moment where you remember saying all right I want to drop everything else and just focus on cricket when when did you think this was going to be a career I I'd say there was a couple of moments um I think cricket just became more promising in my high school high school years um I I played a lot of rugby I still had hopes with golf and tennis a bit it was always like mm, you know but I sort of stopped as well so I I didn't really know where I was going with that I still loved the game um games of tennis and golf yeah. still golf to this day and and tennis but I um, don't get to it um as often as I used to uh but so it it narrowed down in high school where I started playing a lot more rugby and cricket so it was ma- probably the two of them um at that time and rugby just I mean not I, I absolutely it's probably my favorite sport at school um it was also known or well, the office where I went to is also known as more rugby school than anything else um even though the cricket's caught up quite a bit over the years so i always wanted to play rugby i did i had a lot of fun but i always just knew probably the age of 16 17 i always just knew they you know it was going to be cricket um i got approached by a couple of um, provincial teams coaches while i was at high school um offering me um uh, financial stability or uh a place in the teams after after leaving school so there was a bit of you know a bit of security for when i leave school to go and study a bit but also you know you've got that backup i can play if i want to and so i think the coaches and the whole setup just made it a lot easier probably because of results i played i played well i scored runs i did well at provincial tournaments and that probably set it all up all right um i want you to play along with us now imagine that you join the south africa rugby or football team instead of cricket what would ab de villiers be known for no idea <laughs> um probably very similar things I, i think than what we're seeing or hearing now um i love playing under pressure i love being the guy who turns things around who changes momentum um i don't know I, i'm we all i don't know I'd, i'd say we all i don't think we all like that but i i definitely grew up having this picture in my mind of me being on the stage and having to do something special to to win the game for my team. Um so that that was imprinted in my brain from a very young age and um that actually ties in with the previous question as well. Um is I didn't necessarily have the crowds growing up, but I could always in my mind hear that's happening. I could always feel like, you know, not that it was a goal of mine to play in front of big crowds, but I could that that was my thing. I wanted to play big moments and and make a difference where people go who that's that's nice that's cool to see it just turn things wow. around <laughs> yeah. you, you know maybe my favorite uh memory of you is being at a game in kolkata and this is about 3 years ago 4 years ago and uh the mc in the stadium kept saying let's go cheer for kkr and then you walked in and the end the stadium went apt that's crazy apt <laughs> um before you became synonymous with rcb you first started with delhi um just to understand were you happy that delhi picked you up uh did you follow the auction closely what happened well looking back now it would have been great if my first three years were at rcb as well <laughs> but i guess it's all part of the journey i was very happy to when I, when I got picked up by Delhi um I had a fantastic 3 years playing under Greg Shepard made some unbelievable friends in Glamagra I mean I can name the list Dan Vittori even joined us there um the list goes on I mean the the, the the people that I met was the was definitely the the best memory of my first 3 years um Andrew McDonald was there I can I mean it's it is a big list of players and and connections that I made so I would never ever ch- change that for anything Um team wise there was always a bit of this and that um some interesting characters involved in the in the management setup but um we wouldn't uh, we're not going to dig into that too, too deep um I had a lot of fun we made the I think the semi finals in South Africa we had some success and we also didn't play so well at times but um that, that's the 20 cricket view I had a fantastic 3 years I was very happy with the change and something fresh and 
I had no idea what to expect when I got picked up by RCB, but the minute I walked into the setup, I knew this was this was my this was my vibe, you know. Um, uh, I mean, that, that's a dream come true kind of situation. Looking back now, um, it once again changed my life, and I've I've had a great ride. Catch the RCB podcast powered by Kotak Mahindra Bank on Spotify, Ghana, Amazon Prime Music, and Apple Podcasts. यह है मेरा ड्राइवर्स लाइसेंस, माय मेट्रो कार्ड और यह है मेरा फैन कार्ड।